two, and one. We are live! What's up, Paul? How are you doing, Andrew? Fantastic, man. Fantastic. I'm Andrew Berman. That's my buddy, Paul Lucido. And we are here to cover Jay Duran's 30 Days of Thought. This is awesome. So it's been a while since we've done this, which is perfect, perfect to cover procrastination being the only true death. You know, we were just talking about before how, um, you know, the the idea of uh, procrastination, uh, like we you know, we just got busy and stuff like that, but it's, it's all excuses. And we'll go into that a little bit. Uh, but the reason why we do this, uh, you know, well, a couple of, couple of reasons. Um, one one um, is so we can become a little more uh, comfortable with being uncomfortable. We with, within our organization, so we support people who are out there in public and having conversations. And sometimes, um, you know, we we find ourselves actually uh, a little. I, I mean, myself, I know I'm sometimes a little bashful. I, I I don't like this. is very uncomfortable for me. I still feel uncomfortable. I still feel nervous about it, which probably caused the procrastination in doing this. Uh, but so the topic we picked today is procrastination being the only true death. And um, Paul. You always have to kick this off because your your take is just always so deep. I always learn from it, and I I be able to I might be able to to go. But before you go, I want to read um you know Jay's uh, abstract that he starts off, or he I guess he wraps up the the chapter with um, the potential of what is may uh, the potential of what is may just be the effect of the cause, the action itself. Procrastination is the only true death. Mr. Lucido. Yeah, that's a that's a tough one right there, right? Just to get the idea of what he's really trying to convey. Look, I think most everybody knows what procrastination is. And Andrew, just that was a great example. You and I have probably, it's been a few weeks since, maybe even a month since we've done our last uh, 30 days of thought. And I had reached out to Jay and I said, hey, we're going to do one. And then it, after exhaustion 101, I think we were both so exhausted that we began to fall into procrastination is ultimately what happened. So anyway, look, um, I, I just pulled a little bit off of what Jay had here. And I think these are kind of interesting uh, comments that he made. Or He's got this adage, as the adage goes, procrastination is the art of living our yesterday, avoiding today, and destroying tomorrow. Now, there's some truth to that. You know, the old saying that I remember that related with uh, procrastination is don't put off to tomorrow what you can do today. Uh, you try to make the most of your day, try to live for today. And he goes on to talk about that life lies in, you know, the life of now lies in the ex, uh, execution of energy, you know, that you exert, um, you know, whether it's in thinking, speaking and writing, right? And um, the true death is really to never begin. It kind of reminds me a little bit about when Christine Beckwith talked about, you know, uh, it's it's one thing to to uh, enter the race. It's another thing to even get started while other people have already left the finish line. Excuse me, left the starting line. They're already at the finish line. You're still sitting there, you know, tying your shoes. I mean, literally, you've got to get started, right? And I mean, a lot of us do that. We all go through uh, stages of procrastination. I even think those of us that are highly motivated still can slip into that. You think, well, I, I, I've got something else more important. You reprioritize. And sometimes you reprioritize based on how you feel. You know, you just might not be up for something. So yeah. you rationalize. You put it off, uh, so to speak, until, you know, until tomorrow. But anyway, um, let's just talk about it a little bit. You know, it says our biggest fear is death. Um, but in an imagined reality of what may be coming next, only to prove that there is something next, something next shows that we are not ready for death at all. That's kind of deep right there. This is the stuff that uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Duran uh, provokes thought from from all of us. You know, it's uh, you know, he's taking something that most people understand on the surface but he tries to dive a little more in depth and to find out, you know, what, why do we tend to procrastinate? I think a lot of it is just sometimes we're just not ready. We, we don't have the knowledge quite yet. And that's where the thinking piece comes in. You know, he talked about thinking and getting started. There's the difference. You can think and think and think and think and think, and you never really put action uh, in, into gear. And sometimes you have to just kind of, get moving in a direction and things will kind of fall into play. 
So let's let's go from there a little bit and, and uh, see where this uh, takes us. Yeah, well, you're right. Listen, it's the, the thinking. Um, it sometimes you overthink things and and um, listen. Ideas without action are just uh, just ideas. Um, so yes, yeah, so, so um, yeah, there's there there are plenty of people that are already at that finish line. Why you still think? And going back to Christine, I mean, she's the master executor. I mean, mm -hmm. so uh, like this is like someone who um, you know just doesn't know wait. It's just she just does. Um, I I am actually you know I am sometimes uh, you know as people know I, I overthink things I take sometimes a little too long and just kind of making sure that it's that it's it's just it's not right yet let's wait actually but um, yeah sometimes just taking action doing um, ready uh, ready fire aim is sometimes sometimes a better way to do I'm gonna, I'm gonna share with my, my thoughts when I when I wrote this um, so what I do when I do these when I read these passages um, I write my notes down or type my notes down thumb my notes in um, and I also record a little video um, that video no one gets to see really uh, it's usually like you know when when I'm doing like you know my my um, four or five a.m. kind of get ready for the day kind of thing, uh, but it's just something I'm, I'm just doing it for myself. Um, I play it back for myself. So here's my my notes uh, as the adage goes: uh, procrastination um, is the art of living in our yesterday, avoiding today, and destroying tomorrow. Um, so, uh, like the Wayne Gretzky said, uh, you miss a hundred percent of the shots, uh, they, they, you don't take, uh, so just not taking actions, um, on plans and commitments is the biggest sin when you have time to make, we could find 642 reasons, you know, not to do something in particular motion, procrastination slowly rose at your life and the opportunities that you create. Um, so, and we were talking before saying we just got busy. That's, that is part of my French, but that is bullshit because. You know something, if if something came up that was so important that we needed to address, we would have found the time to do it. And there's no question about it. Now, if you think about it, and this is something, um, Shashank, good friend of mine, love the guy. We we actually do a lot of stuff together. Um, he had he talk, talks about this book called 168 Hours. We all have 168 hours. I think I've even talked about this with with the stuff that we we've, we've we've done here. Um, it's what you do with those 168 hours. Um, so it's not about actually though that we don't have enough time. Um, but to me, this is a priority thing. Um, and I think actually this is something that we need to, um, to step up because I love doing this. I love sharing these, these ideas. Um, these are great opportunities. I love actually, you know, getting exposure for the 30 days of thought, 30 days of thought, um, is something I think helps people, people actually that read the book and dig into it are in a better place from, uh, learning to, uh, read, um, write and record their, their thoughts. Um, so yeah, procrastination, it will take over your life and destroy it slowly and slowly. So just take action. No, that's good. And the action piece that you speak to is, is, is vital. I mean, I like the, the, the point he made, the fruits of our labor are the manifestation of tomorrow. It's very true. What you do today is going to bear fruit. You say the fruits of our labor. Well, the, the fruits of our labor will actually it'll bear fruit tomorrow. So you got to work hard today to bear fruit for tomorrow. Now, tomorrow could be the future. But the idea is, is to understand that you always have to kind of move in a direction. You know, there's an old saying, either sink or swim. Um, there was a, uh, a going back to a point that you made about, you know, how important these videos are and how important it is to have these conversations, this discourse that we continue to do. What was the guy's name? Jimmy? Was it? I almost want to say De Delaney, Jimmy. There was a guy recently that just did posted a 30 days of thought. It was a, it was about uh, communication. It was about active listening, which I yeah. think that really yeah. from, uh, from PRMP. That's yeah. Right. <laughs> It was it was it was really good. In fact, I remember seeing that over the weekend, and I think I had uh, commented out there to Jay as well. Amazing, Amazing. Good listener, and what that all means. But I don't want to get on a tangent. Going back to procrastination, yeah, we all fall victim to it from time to time. Um, I think that it it is an Achilles heel. It's something that we all need to work on. I know I have to work on it. My wife would probably tell you, yeah, honey, you know, you you should have, could have, uh, whatever. Yeah, she's right. Um, there are things that I that I 
could be doing proactively. I think procrastination, the pro part, is just, you need to convert that from procrastination to being proactive is what it really boils down to. Yeah. Be in such uh, uh, such that you're always in a reactive mode, but rather in a in a proactive mode. Um, and that's really just, uh, you know, like you said, like what Christine Beckwith is saying, be an executor. You just got to start to move in a, move in a direction. And, um, you know, it, what you don't know, you'll figure out as you go. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So listen, um, yeah, I, I think, I think we've said a lot. I think, uh, I think this is, the, this is what we've, we've got, it. I think we nailed it. Um, but you know, so it's interesting is, um, like there's no right or wrong way to do this. Um, like I, I think, and, and I, and it's, it's funny, like I, I think, um, if you look at everyone's videos, they're so different, such different takes. And that's the best, the best thing about this book. It's not actually, there's no right or wrong way. It's just, there, there's just the way and your way is the right way. Um, so, uh, listen, I, I don't know if you have a second chapter, uh, you know, our, our next chapter in mind. I didn't pick one, Andrew. I, I'll leave that to you. You picked this last, the last two. So, okay. um, no, maybe I picked the, the, the one prior, but. Yeah, go ahead and I've got the book here. Listen, I'm I'm wide open. I love doing this. And oh, there's so really I'm gonna pick I'm gonna pick a number. And you you but let's let's find someplace close to that. Page 122. 122. 122. Let's see what I got. Hang tough. Uh, 122 is drum roll. It is gonna fall under con oh, I love this. Conscious thought internal self culture i think i can i think i can i think i can i know i can i know i can you know what's really interesting so here's what's interesting that you picked that out of the clear blue sky the national advertising campaign for prmg is going to fall right into alignment with that we always we always make reference to the uh, us being the little engine that could, you know, Casey Jr. is a little engine that could and yep. Dumbo, right? And it's, I think I can, I think I can, I thought I could, I thought I could, if I remember correctly. And um, anyway, it's interesting that you picked that. So this is perfect, right up our alley. And, um, you know, we're really excited about doing this. I miss doing this with you, Andrew. It's a good little exercise. Everybody should do it. I like the fact that we do it together at least we can have some dynamic in doing doing that and uh and oh by the way ginger bell if you're listening i owe you a book review i know that i've been reading your book uh ginger's book is very pragmatic it's literally more a step-by-step -step how to it's it's less of a story uh and more of a just talk about taking action and putting it into steps that's really what i'm learning about uh ginger's book and it's about repurposing too so i have been reading it but i need to um get it all you know dialed in before i just espouse my thoughts you know so uh, listen i want to do something crazy what, sure. what do you, do tomorrow? you want to do one tomorrow let's do it tomorrow let's do it tomorrow okay, let's, let's do it tomorrow do it tomorrow uh, you know, <laughs> Jason Frazier put a put a challenge out there to record a video every day, yeah, and and so like you know I think uh, let, let's do it tomorrow. I know about every day. I, I'm I'm nervous about that that overall commitment, but let's just do it. Uh, we will we'll definitely do it tomorrow. Um, yeah, let's well, you and I will we'll talk. We'll figure out a time, but we're we're doing it tomorrow. We'll go in and out. So we're right now about 13 minutes. We're gonna we're gonna cap this off today. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll we'll we're gonna do it tomorrow. We'll figure out a time. That sounds like a plan to me. And can I just throw a shameless plug to PRMG? Can you see my card? Yeah. It says, on our way to 1 billion. We made these back in 2015, this, this PRMG cup. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah. And um, we are very, very, very close to our goal. We had three months that were just scraping at that 1 billion mark. So I'm very excited for, for PRMG. <laughs> So how's it looking for this month? Because this month we got, we got, listen, we got Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah it's a small, you have less uh, uh, funding days. So I don't know. I think we're going to come up. I don't think we'll exceed. We did 984, I believe, to be exact, uh, for October, which is really good. Congratulations if you were listening, those of you from PRMG. Uh, what a great, what a great uh, month we had. And we've clearly beaten the garbage out of our uh, annual um, our annual uh, funded, uh, I would say, annual fund of fundings um, yeah. by I think September. I think September actually we surpassed that. So that's awesome. Yeah, 
love it. Listen, you're great company to work with. Uh, you know, everyone I know actually does business with you guys. Just love, loves you guys. Um, there's no question about it. You know, um, uh, you know, and it's funny. You're the only company actually. That, I mean, you're you handle all channels with such class. Um, mm -hmm. And it's really it's just it's a great thing to, to honor that we have uh, you know as our publication have an honor to work with you um, just sponsoring some great content out there uh, so um, Paul love you love PRMG love uh, everyone over there and uh, we do this again tomorrow I'm looking forward to it Andrew so hey, tomorrow brother all right I'm gonna end now thank you everyone and uh, we will see you tomorrow sounds good.